You do not need to be a fast-clicking robot to enjoy StarCraft 2, and I'll prove it. So I'll go into a co-op mission. On my own, I will solo this map called Void Thrashing as this commander called Arcturus, and my prestige will be Principal Proletariat, so I can use the powerful Royal Guard to beat the mission. So, thank you to Mathis Diaz, who is supporting me in the mobilization of tier, and Darth, Lucinus, Imputants, and Shadow Archon, who are supporting me in the pulse scanning tier. And thank you to all my supporters on Patreon. So my goal for this mission is to, de to defeat the mission, to win the mission on my own without an ally, despite it being a co-op mission. And my actions per minute, it's a measure of how fast players play. My actions per minute or APM has to be below 60. If 60 APM or actions per minute means you're clicking once per second. It's not terribly fast. This is one APM. That's not fast. And if I could keep it below that, that's considered playing slowly and still being successful at StarCraft 2. So full disclaimer, if you want to be a 1v1 player who's uh, a professional or even just top of the ladder, you probably do need to be fast because to really be a good player in 1v1, you measure yourself by defeating other players. That's not how it works in co-op. In co-op, you become successful by just beating missions. You don't have to compete against other players. That's why you don't need fast play in co-op. You just need to be faster than the computer. Or not faster, just better than the computer. And the good news in that regard is that you have strong commanders. Meaning you don't need to click like a, click like a madman, a fast person to beat missions, you just need to play smart. And that's what my goal is for this mission, play smart and keep my actions per minute below 60. And the good news for me is I can see my axe per minute with this counter here. It's not available for all commanders, but it is available for this commander. So we'll actually see if I can destroy this mission on my own or solo it with below 60 APM. That's gonna be the challenge for me. All the rocks are down, let us start. Another bunker here. We're gonna wait for 400 minerals before we can start our command center. The command center, of course, will will build additional workers. And I've, as I've mentioned many times in the past, in the past, to be successful at StarCraft, you need a big army to destroy the enemy's army, and to destroy the enemy's army, you need a good economy. The economy is basically how you pay for stuff, and the bigger your economy, the better your economy the more successful you will be at building a big army and subsequently the better you will be at vanquishing your opponents so now let's send these guys here We're the higher authority. and these guys here My dominion, right or wrong. create I this factory there we go not just get more workers that should be fine Yeah, just what else build this factory. We want to tech up to battlecruisers. The battlecruisers are very powerful capital ships that we'll be able to use to destroy the enemy without ourselves getting destroyed. That's the key here. The thing with co-op is you don't normally trade with the enemy. In 1v1, trading is essentially... Uh, well, trading is an essential part of the game. In co-op, if you don't trade, meaning you... you beat the enemies without them destroying your guys, you're actually winning. So let's actually fly this over here. Start this thing. I'll send a bunch of guys here. Convert them to labor or to troopers. Drop another set here. Send guys to repair. Make sure our guys stay alive. Okay, we're gonna get some blimpy boys. The blimpy boys will help me generate this energy so I can use it for top bars, which are pretty good. I'll also send these guys back to work. And so far, so far. Alright, that seems to be fine. Let's get another blimp. And then go straight to Battlecruiser. Start another starport. The starport is where we build our battlecruisers from. We build battlecruisers and then we send them to Amon. We make 
so many battle cruisers that the enemy cannot de defeat us. That's the plan. Make a big army, send army at Amon, the enemy, and watch Amon suffer. Hey, the siege We want to siege up these blimps. So again, we can get more energy. This number over here on the left shows how many, how much energy I gain for these top bars. That's pretty good. It's pretty good if you have a lot of energy. Let's drop these guys over here. Uh-oh. That's a lot of enemies. That's a lot of enemies. Okay, that's fine because they still give me vision. So my next drop will have good vision. Actually, let me cancel that. Start this. Get more depots so we can build more stuff. Okay, drop this bunker here. Huh, this might be fine. No, it's just slightly not fine. Ooh. Ooh. Repair the bunker. Teleport this guy here. Okay. Uh, destroy these guys. Get more bunkers. We have more bunkers. That's the whole plan. We get these battle cruisers. Destroy these thrashers. So 10 thrashers in total will spawn on the map. And our mission is to defeat all 10. Before... The fortress, this thing, gets destroyed. The thrashers shoot the temple, or the fortress. The so, we need to actually destroy... Oh, enemy is Reaver Disruptor. That's actually pretty tough. So we need to be smart at playing. So that we don't get destroyed. Alright, shoot him. Okay, repair. Teleport over here. Yamato. Yamato. I want to use our Yamato so that the enemies get destroyed very quickly. Alright. Now fly over here to the safe zone. And I'll make more battle cruisers. This is, that's the whole plan. That's the whole plan of this game. Make a lot of battle cruisers. And you can see. Just, just watch the APM counter over here. I'm doing a lot of stuff without actually playing fast. And that's, that's the thing. You can actually you can actually do a lot of stuff in StarCraft without being a clicking madman. And that's because the way a lot of players play this game is by spamming APM. And that'd be just spamming clicks to keep their hands warm or some such. And it's really just artificially inflating a number. To I guess seem like you're doing a lot of things, but really, you can do a lot of things without doing that. You don't need to be a clicking machine actually be good at StarCraft as I keep mentioning and I hope this video will be a good demonstration of that that is the hope oh, that's a lot of mortals go shoot it down with the Yamato okay there you go that is defeated okay let's make more battle cruisers Yamato. Yamato. So the Yamato is just a powerful gun that destroys the enemy. Well, oh, that's Storm. That's not good. Okay. Alright, we're gonna unleash the Zerg. This will be a very powerful weapon. Oh, we can't lose this guy. Teleport this guy back to get some healing. This is very good. Repair is very good to have in these scenarios. Yeah, just shoot him down. Shoot down the enemies. There we go. One down. Shoot down these immortals. Okay. You just want to dodge. You don't need to be a fast player to dodge. You can see a large circle appear on the ground. And just select your battle cruisers and fly away. So they don't get hit. And now teleport back. And get your guys repaired. 
That simple as that? It's not difficult. You just have to remember what to do. Starcraft, as I mentioned before, is not a game of clicking fast for 99% of players. Again, disclaimer, the 1% of players on the very top of the ladder in the professional scene do need to play fast, but that's not you, most likely. Most likely, you just need to play smarter, make better decisions, and basically know what to do. So here I have a nuke, so what I'll do is teleport here, rain down nukes, and watch me just get destroyed. Yamato, Yamato. Okay, dodge. Okay. One down. Hmm, I gotta be careful about that attack wave. That's gonna have a lot of immortals. And they will deal a lot of damage. Okay. I apologize for clicking fast in that instance. <laughs> Alright. That's destroyed. Teleport. Oh, that's not gonna work, probably. I have to teleport back here. Send my repair squad back. Probably bring a lot more repair guys. And brace for impact. There's gonna be a lot of enemies. Although, actually, I can probably just use the Zerg. Yes, yeah, probably gonna be fine. The Zerg! <laughs> top bars are really good in StarCraft 2 co-op. If you learn, if you play co-op, you'll learn that, yeah, top bars, very good. They allow me to win without having to uh, get a big army. Uh, of course, an ar a bigger army is, a, is preferable, but not essential if you're good enough. We just need to wait for enough gas so we can build, actually, I'm going to send another worker here. So I can squeeze out a little bit of value or a little bit of resources. Okay, now my guys are at full health. I'm gonna rally my battle cruisers to that spot. Hmm, big attack wave. I only need to be smart about engaging that. I think I can just plop down a bunch of bunkers here. Oh, hmm. That's not ideal. <laughs> oh well. Okay, oh, destroy that Reaver. Reaver's not good for our health. We gotta destroy them. Okay. Oh, what was that? There's no way. There's no way that was that. Okay, got two more battle cruisers here. I think I'm ready to engage. So here's how I'll engage this army. So, you can't just fly in and expect to win. You have to play smartly. So here's what I'll do. I'll aggro a bunch of these enemies, make them fight me. So now that's going to be two Archons against eight Battlecruisers. And that's not going to go well for the Battlecruisers. So just rinse and repeat. Just pick off the enemies a few at a time. Just be patient. Don't be over eager. Make them weaker. You're, you are getting value with this strategy. Just, you, just pick off those strong guys using Yamato. And you will be able to beat them. The Alright. I, I actually got a nuke ready. Yeah, let's get our army repaired while using the Zerg on here. Get some repairs. Alright, yeah, let's get some repairs while fighting here. The motto of this, we want to destroy these Colossus because they are destroying our workers. We don't want our workers destroyed. Okay, dodge. The motto of the Colossus, they deal a lot of splash damage to the ground. We don't want them to stick around for long and destroy our workers, our repair guys. Okay. Alright. These are the last four thrashers if you were counting. Alright, I got another nuke ready. It's time to bring this area down. Yeah, bring the area down. Couple more.
the motto of this. Shoot that. Ouch. Ouch. That's it. One last Void Thrasher. Right click the Thrasher. Just right click the Thrasher and we're home free. There it is. Last Thrasher down. Game one. And that is... Not very fast, I would say. You probably saw the APM counter on the bottom right. Like just edging above 100 every so often, but not very frequently. So let's see. Most of the damage was done by my Pride of August, or the, big, the big battle cruiser things. They were big, they were tanky, and they were able to destroy most of the mission without really putting themselves in a lot of danger. Only the last mission, I was kind of rushing through it. But let's see. If that was below 60, you can see, there it is. 35 actions per minute. That's just 35, essentially averaging 35 clicks a minute, or like more like one click every few seconds, more like this. That's how fast I was playing on average. That's not very fast. You can probably do that too if you just know what to do. Generally, a good plan in StarCraft beats a fast player. You, ju you just gotta have a better plan. You just gotta come in, you know what to do, you know how to beat the enemy, and execute that. You don't need to be a super fast clicker. And you can solo a map like this, on brutal difficulty by the way, without really being threatened. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. If you have an idea for what else to do, please leave it in the comment. I might do the rest of these commanders. I wanted to do it in order, but starting in reverse because these three guys are probably going to be the most interesting ones. We'll see. Yeah, comment down below if you want to see the rest of this series. I'll see you guys next time.